Hey guys, I have gotten a lot of requests to do a makeup tutorial. And to be honest with you, I really don't know what I'm doing. I am going to just tell you what I think I know. And I have some really close friends that are makeup artists that are probably gonna watch this and they're probably gonna cringe. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I always put a really good moisturizer on my face because if I don't, then things get a little patchy when I put my when I put my foundation on is what I was really trying to say. Um, <clears throat> so I use NARS for my foundation. The reason why I like to use NARS is because it's um it's not, I don't really like really cakey and full coverage. And this stuff, literally, you don't have to use very much at all. This thing has lasted me for like a year and a half. You really only need like one, one to two pumps and it covers your entire face. It's not like super full coverage, but I use my concealer to help with concealing like, you know, I'm in my thirties. So <laughs> getting some stuff. it's only two pumps okay so literally only that much and with this stuff you don't want to use a brush or a sponge because this stuff goes on best when you use your fingers because the warmth and your fingers help blend it a lot better I mean it's the girl at the counter told me Next, I'm gonna put on my concealer. And I don't really like my concealer to be super light because I really don't like that contrast. I like things to kind of blend. Um, so I really don't want people to be able to see that I'm really wearing concealer. So concealer goes on after your foundation. And I use By It Cosmetics, by By Under Eye. And I just put a little bit on my finger, rub it so it warms it up and it goes on a little bit better. And I put some underneath my eyes. And around my nose. Down my nose. And then any other places where I think I need it. I use my IT Cosmetics brush and I use this end and I do small circles according to the directions. <music> underneath I want to kind of prevent things from falling and sticking on my face I'm going to use a little bit of powder and I'm going to just kind of dab underneath also helps kind of prevent creasing from happening so now I'm gonna put the blush on and I always start with a darker color. So I'm gonna use kind of like a mauve type of color. And I'm just gonna go right underneath the cheekbone. I like to use this type of brush because it does really good contouring. And I smile because that's what I was told you're supposed to do. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Now I'm going to keep kind of contouring my cheeks. This is another NARS. I really like NARS. Um, this is called Talia and it's a contouring kit. So it has the darker and then it has the lighter that you can highlight with. So I'll put just a little bit again. So 
Sometimes if I get too crazy, I look like I got punched in the face. All right, all right. So if you really wanna get cool, you can put just a little bit on each side of your nose to give your nose a highlight down the center. Not too much, don't get crazy. Now I'm gonna do my brows and Ladies, ladies, let's talk about the brows, okay? Well, first off, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just kind of go a little bit like this, a little bit like this. But some people get really, really crazy with the brows. Um, it seems like things are getting bigger up here, you know? Like these things and these things are getting like out of control. <laughs> Like these are starting to touch these and that's crazy to me. But you know, that's just my opinion. You ladies look beautiful. Okay, so honestly with my brows, it's really nothing special at all. Um, I'm just going to kind of go underneath the brow and just try to shape a little bit. I don't like to get my brows too thick because <clears throat> I don't think it looks good on me. And I don't want to draw too much focus on that's kind of that. I'm going to use my Naked palette. I really like this thing. And I'm going to use just a really light color. And I'm going to put it on the base of my eyes over the entire thing as the base and I don't really use gl much glittery stuff because I I like the more matte type of look now I'm gonna do the crease and I use a brush that looks like this it's a blending brush and wow I don't know where that came from now I mean I use a bunch of different colors for the crease but this is one that I absolutely am obsessed with, and it's called Sophia by NARS. NARS. And I like to use this one on my crease the most. And I try to keep my eyes open so that I can follow my crease line. And then I kind of go off to the sides to bring it out a little bit. Like that. Now I take, um, so this is another NARS and it's called Fez and it's kind of a golden color. And I go just really close underneath my eyes with a little brush. And then I kind of go up to make a little bit of a line. See that? And I do the same thing over here. And this is going to give me kind of 
kind of a border to do the rest of my of my makeup on my eyes. And then I take the other end and I just kind of shadow it a little bit. Take it just one little step further. I'm gonna use this little thing right here. This is like a, well, actually, it's not what I do. Um, I use this and I blend that into the first color that I did. And then I will take this little baby here and I'll do like a dark, I use kind of like a dark purple. And I'll just go on the crease. Just there. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put my eyeliner on. And the one that I find that actually lasts forever, like it lasts all day long and it really doesn't move or do anything. Um... It's Maybelline Eye Studio. It's a liquid and I use a little pencil to paint it on. It actually comes with it. So I like my eyes to be a little bit catty. So I kind of start above. And then I kind of wing it out. See what I mean? Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, so I sometimes leave it just like this and I don't go all the way to the end. I just kind of blend it. Depends on how catty I want to look. Um, but I'm going to take it all the way to the end. I don't like to do a really thick layer, so I try to get as close to mascara and the mascara that I really like um, is Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I really do like this stuff because it doesn't get super clumpy and it keeps your eyelashes from like sticking together but you also get really good volume. I've always wondered like why is it that when I do my bottom lashes I'm like like <laughs> Like, I need to stretch my face out in order to do my... It doesn't do anything different. I'm going to do just a little bit of highlight. And I use Soft and Gentle by MAC. And if you get this wet, you'll get a really good highlight. I just don't like it to look sparkly on my face. So I'll just go right above what I did there and I'll go right above the blush over there and then I'll highlight my nose go all the way down and underneath okay so now for the lips everyone always wants to know how I do my lips and so here's that so I use this, I've been using this for like two years. This is my base. It's, I got this from Mac and to be honest with you, it's like so used 
I don't even know the name. Like I think it's called, it's called Current A95. I don't know what that means. Okay, but it's a really dark purple. And what I do is I like to make a little line around that, but I like to go a little bit over the line so I look like I have like these big luscious lips. So sometimes if I want to be dramatic, I just put, I like this, but then I put like a purplish red lipstick over it to kind of make it darker. That's when I'm like, you know, going out clubbing or something. <laughs> I don't go clubbing. So now this is what I use to tone it down. And this stuff is freaking amazing. It's like glue. This stuff does not move in fact when i wash it off at the end of the night i literally have to like scrub my lips to get it off um it's color stay ultimate by revlon i honestly don't know what color this is i don't know um but then i put it over the top so that i can tone it down Okay. And that's it guys. That is how I usually do my makeup. Sometimes I do smoky eyes and stuff like that. I can do tutorials later if you guys actually like this tutorial. But to be honest with you, you have no idea what I'm doing. And um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye guys.